G'day YouTube. Bought this off eBay. I'll link it in the video description. I thought, let's try it out, see what happens with it. 1000 watt modified sine waiver. Um, got a USB port, got a fault light, got a power light. It actually has a proper Australian plug, which is nice. Uh, I've got to say that's one up on a lot of uh, inverters. Um, I have used it already. I ran my Milwaukee battery charger with a multi-rapid bay one off it. That was all sweet. Uh, no noise, no click clicks, no carry on. CE, so it's export certed. No real details on it. It came with a pair of alligator clips and a cigar lighter socket. So it may be perfect for uh, having in the glove box of a car and running your battery charger if you're a tradie or something like that or yeah it uh, has a good cooling fan which operates the whole time it's running um, but it's not crazy loud it's even quieter in here now but I thought why not try it off the uh, caravan's main battery uh, good source which is currently getting lots of sunshine as you can see the sun on my hand uh, getting lots of sunshine on the solar uh, system we put in here so I'm going to disconnect the little battery connect this to the big battery and I want to know if it's going to run the microwave let me just get it connected up for you okay so the lead for the microwave is only very short because it's tucked in around the cabinetry but uh, And the fans are horribly annoying. Most of the cheap Chinese inverters don't have like things like fan temperature control and stuff like that. Like, you know, a good Victron or similar would have. It didn't hesitate. Lights on. That clicking noise was the voltage sensitive relay. We've obviously dropped the battery voltage significantly. Now the battery voltage dropped to 12.7. That just ran the microwave. Okay, let's chuck my cup of coffee in the microwave. The van's not level at the moment, it's normally not like that. I made my coffee like 10 minutes ago, so it's not super warm. It was me pressing the button funny. No. They just called it a day. Try again. Power level mustn't be adjustable. Okay, it appears to not like it when there's just enough to drop it out. So I was right on the edge of its limit trying to run that. Um, but yeah, as you heard, it, the first time with nothing in there, it actually... I 
Yeah, no, it doesn't want to play. Okay. Yeah, it won't do that. Let's go and uh, find some things to plug into it and see what we can run off it. So I thought before someone actually asked the question anyway, better check the Hertz. 50.8, nothing wrong with that. Go and have a look at our Volts AC. What? Ah, there we go. 243 volts, that's nice to see. The battery in my multimeter is going flat. That's better. You'd think a bloke with hundreds and hundreds, a oh, couple thousand 18 Swifties that have some double A's. No, but I got some triples, so we put them in there. Awesome multimeter. That'll be linked in the video description as well. Uh, really bright, vibrant screen with the light in the cameras on as well. Good screen. So, 242 volts. Yeah, this is where this multimeter comes. Give us the sign light. Duty cycle. I really like it because it beeps and tells you that it's um, over voltage. Well, high voltage, dangerous voltage. There is a way that you can get it to show you waveforms. I've got to work that out. I've seen it. There we go. So as you can see, very much square wave. So it's at 50 hertz because it's got kilohertz over on the uh, side there. 0 0.050, 50 hertz. Right, let me show you what else you can run off this thing. Turn the multimeter off so it's not flat halfway through my next video. 400 watt quarter inch collet or die grinder. Another 400 watt tool, jigsaw, Makita. This one's trigger's not variable speed, but it's got a thumb scroll. Now if you keep in mind this inverter was like 39 bucks, And the fact that you can run things like power tools, I was going to say incandescent lights, but why would you run anything incandescent anymore? Off camera, before I plugged the microwave in, I plugged the wrong plug in and actually ran the fridge on AC, because I had the main switch off. So it will run that fridge compressor. I can't imagine that being an overly substantial one. Runs Milwaukee battery chargers, things like that. Link in the video description to buy them. I get a kickback. We have eBay affiliate codes now. So if you go shopping through the code that you find for this and buy something on eBay, it gives the channel a kickback. I can keep buying things like this independently and testing them. Thanks for watching. You know what to do. Catch you on the next video. Cheers, guys.